Hello guys! In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use the clipping tool. Um, it is a very useful tool in Xsource SDK Hammer Editor. And I just gonna make a wall here, little click quick that we will be clipping. So that would do it. There we go. Now I made a nice wall here in the middle of the map. And we're gonna start to clip it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to remove half of this wall. So we're gonna go to the side view. And first of all, make sure to have the clipping tool selected. There is a command for it, Shift X. And if I want to uh, remove this part here, this left part, let's see this left part right here. Then I just need to do like this, select it, press select the clipping tool, drag like I did before. And just press enter. Now the, as you can see the red part is the part that will disappear. I can just take it back. No, re nothing happened. So select the wall again. Take the clipping tool. And maybe cut it at some other point. And remove it. But. Let's say I want to remove the edge as well. So what I do is I select the clipping tool. But this time when I want to remove the edge. As you can see the left part is the part that is red. And that is the middle part which I want to save. So basically all you gotta do to change this part is go over here again. And click the click into clipping tool once. And you can see these parts with color white and red have swapped sides. If I click it again, both sides are white. What does that mean? Basically it means that both sides will be kept. But they are now two completely different walls. So we have now made our wall smaller even again. And let's say we don't just want to cut it straight down. You can cut it diagonally. Diagonally. If you wanted to. Just press enter. And there you have it. Two parts of the same wall. And we can keep on going. Just living like this. Maybe we get a roof. Now I cut it really weird. But that doesn't matter. And now I want to remove the left part here. So I just click the clipping tool one more time. Press enter and it gets removed. So you can keep doing this. And also uh, when using the clipping tool. Make sure that if let's say you want to make a small hole here. That is kind of round. Uh, make sure that you not start to do like this. Wait let's just click it once sometimes. That you start to make a hole like this. Because if you want to make a hole here, this would actually work. But this is the problem. All the parts were right, but as you can see, this happens. So what you're going to do is you're going to press the control set a couple of times. And instead of just cutting where you want the hole to be, you're going to make a box where you want the hole to be. So I want it to be in the middle of this box right here. Now I just select this one box. And now I use the clipping tool to make a circle. This will save you from the trouble of having to refill parts that are being randomly removed for no apparent reason. So there we go, now I can just grab the middle part and BAM! We got ourselves a hole. And you can of course, like if you want to remove that part, you can just select the part wherever you want to go. And let's say you want to move this. You want to move this wall you just made with this hole in it. Well, a stupid thing would be to press control everywhere and then move it. Or you move part by part, even stupid. Even more stupid. What you're gonna do is gonna t take the select tool over here. And you're gonna go to one of the views and just drag a box. Next time, next you're gonna go to another view and drag it, drag it up, and you're gonna select just the part where your wall is. Press enter, and there you go. Now we can, if we want to move it, we can move it. But if I now deselect this wall, if I now deselect this wall, basically what's gonna happen is that I will lose the control of all the parts of the wall again. What we're going to do then is we're going to click this box right here. Group selected objects. 
Now, if this doesn't work, let's say now, well, it does work now. If this doesn't work, that means you have, which one is it? There we go. Now you see, toggle group and ignore. Now it ignores that it is a group. They are now individual parts. But if we remove the ignore part again, it is now a whole wall. And the reason for that button is, let's say you make a wall like this, but then you realize, wow, I don't want that block right there. Just press ignore walls, remove it, and then bam, back to the not ignore walls. So ignore group selected the whatever the name was was. So yeah, that is how you use the clipping tool. And um, opposed to using the carve tool, which is a tool you should never use, uh, is where you have a block. I'm not even gonna show you guys. Yeah, I'm stat bald. You're not gonna use the carve tool. No, but I, um, the carve tool makes a lot of problems if it is used within a wall. And you then want to resize the wall, it makes a lot of problems. Which you don't want. Uh, let's say I want to resize this. If I move it up or down, it will move it will move with it. No problem. There is no problems here. But it say I'm I use the carving tool to carve in a, this wall. Well basically some walls will uh, be shrunken more, some walls will stay, and it's just messy. So use the clipping tool, guys. It's really easy, really simple, and really useful. So yeah, thank you for using... Oh, thank you for watching this tutorial, and we'll see you later.